What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage and another totally tubular two minute tool time Tuesday. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite tools that I like to use when working on a car. Uh, let's get down to it, two minutes on the clock, let's go. Woo! Literally one of my favorite tools right here. Woo! All right. Just kidding, just kidding. All right guys, we're dropping in this. Oh God, it's not working. Drop on in. Okay, this is the tool today. Guys, the freaking creeper. What, what are you talking about? This thing right here. This is El Creeper. So the creeper, is basically one of my favorite tools that I use in El Chapo. Uh, this one I've had for quite a while. It actually works pretty damn good. Uh, it has wobble wheels and all that type of stuff, so it rolls along very, very nicely. You know, if you need to, you can skate it to whatever, whatever your uh, you know heart desires. But this thing is amazing. It's amazing. Why? Might you ask? As you guys know, getting down on the ground and rolling underneath the car is not really quite the funnest thing to do. If you have a lift, obviously it's easy to walk under the car, but having one of these bad boys completely saves your back. So you can get under the car if your head would fit, you know, you can get right under there. Uh, obviously I don't have the car jacked up guys, but you get the point. You can roll around on the ground. I love this thing, it's the best. One more tool that I want to talk about. Links down in the description to this, guys. I love this one. It's so good. It's so good. My gosh. My gosh. Oh my gosh. My gosh. Look at the roll. Look at the roll. So this one is also really good because see the little head pad? It's got the areas where you can throw your tools in the side, which you still always lose your tools, but at least you have a spot for them. Uh, but rolling underneath the car is super easy if you have something on your back or whatever. It's going in and out, it makes going under a car not suck as much, right? Because scraping up your back, it's not really fun. It's, it's just not. Freaking knee pads, oh my god. These are what's up, because every time I change my freaking wheels on my car, I use these knee pads, why? Because I'm an old ass person. No, not really, because I like my knees and my knees are jacked up from skateboarding back in the day and all that, you know, that fun stuff, skateboarding, snowboarding, biking, whatever. My knees hurt sometimes if uh, I just put them on the concrete. So using a knee pad is freaking sick. Look at this. Would you just look at it? That just works so good. Uh, boom, 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 impact driver, this bad boy off. And uh, yeah, you don't screw up your knees, you're not getting them dirty. And it's nice and soft, oh so squishy. And one of my freaking favorite tools that I use every time I work on my car. Uh, if you don't use one of these, chances are your freaking knees hurt and uh, you're gonna be feeling it for like a week later. So I definitely recommend to pick one of these items up because it just makes working on stuff so much better. So guys, Chris Fix here. Uh, these tools are amazing. These are two of my favorite tools. Really, I know I always say that. I always kind of say that. They're two of my favorite tools, but this, like every time I work on my car, <laughs> you know, I use one of these. I do. It's just that good. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, these are two tools that I really like to use. I would definitely call these totally tubular two minute tool time tools because they're great, because they're awesome, because they're useful. And uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. We are trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. If you purchase anything through those links down below, it definitely helps out the channel a ton, so it's an easy way to get back and help with the build. Got the 2017 S3 build coming up. This is going to be tuned soon. Got the dyno scheduled up, so that is gonna be happening. Just got the 2018 BMW M4, so stuff on that is going to be happening soon as well. You guys are gonna see a bunch more videos. Already did the first mod, but haven't put out the video yet. What else we got? We got the uh, 1988 BMW E30D Birdie 30. Stuff's happening with that. Trying to get more parts. 
Still waiting on a few things. 1986 Fred Edda Step you know, it's going down. Uh, things are happening to that as well soon. So yeah, look forward to seeing more stuff, guys. Hit that bell, hit that notification button, which is the bell. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Later, and rinch on.